The first tonight, some people might say that instead of lying in a hospital bed, Brian Kincannon should be locked up. Now, what you're about to see can't really be explained rationally, so we'll leave the pictures to tell the story. I'm an eccentric type person, and I um, love the adrenaline rush. This is how 39-year-old Brian Concannon gets his kicks by setting himself on fire and filming his daredevil exploits jackass style. It's money for my own uh, personal satisfaction. I've got um, some stunts I want to do, and that was one of them. But last night, his latest extreme stunt went horribly wrong. The police turned up just as I was sort of getting close, so I... I thought they were going to can it, so I rushed it. The petrol um, got underneath the back wheel, which made me slip and lose traction, so I didn't hit the ramp at the uh, required speed. I think he's like, oh my God! After dousing himself with petrol and setting his body alight, Brian rode off a toilet block that fell short of the mattresses lined up to break his fall. Today, he was recovering in hospital. Well, I've got a badly smashed uh, wrist. Both bones are um, quite badly broken. I copped abrasions, a broken nose, and uh, a couple of little burns to my ear. I went one to this one, that's about it. He's not really crazy, he's just a, a dead dog. Brian's son, 13 year old Bon Con Cannon, caught the action on camera, filming his dad while he crashed and burned, all in front of a fired up crowd of onlookers, including police who helped douse his planes. Oh, I keep on filming, but um, it was, uh, that's what he told me to do. He told me to keep on filming no matter what. So, uh, and he hit, and he hit about here. And Although he's terrified by his dad's death-defying stunts, Bond says he wants to follow in his footsteps. Yeah, I, I probably would be something, but I'd be more organised. He should have people with extinguishers and more matches. For the past 15 years, Brian has been amusing himself and others with his self-destructive exploits, routinely recording his stupid stunts and showcasing them on his website, all with the view of making his own documentary. I was thinking uh, a documentary on my stunts, hopefully. It's some way to make a, a quid out of it. I haven't made too much uh, up to date. Brian's stunt is just the latest in a string of dangerous exploits filmed for shock home movies like these, all inspired by the American movie Jackass. Now I'm paying the price, just kicking myself in the ass. Although Brian insists he doesn't have a death wish, he's not about to give up just yet and promises his next stunt will be even more dangerous than ever. The big one is an Inferno base jump cutaway. Uh, jumped from a bridge with a parachute. I set myself on fire. Got open at the right height. They have special effects, so even the canopy catches on fire. You'd expect he'd learn his lesson. Michelle Tapper reporting there.